Hello and welcome back to the X Laser Lab X1 Pro, the laser welding, cutting and cleaning machine. In my last video, I unboxed it to show you everything that comes in the box, but I couldn't actually test it because my gas bottle was empty. And as the machine itself makes clear, that's a complete deal breaker because you can't use it without a form of shielding gas flowing through. So, now that we've got a full gas bottle, it's time to see what this machine can really do. It works with nitrogen or argon as a shielding gas, but I'll be using an argon CO2 mix. And with the wire spool installed and the correct rollers in place, we can finally select welding mode and get started. And just a heads up, this review comes from the perspective of a complete DIY. I've never used a laser welder before, so this is not only a chance to test the machine, but also to see how easy it is for a beginner to actually use. So, after selecting the weld option on the touch screen, you enter another menu where you can adjust all your welding settings. You can choose between continuous or pulse welding, turn the wire feeder on or off, adjust the wire feed speed, and of course, control the power, frequency, and swing. Almost ready to weld then, just one more step. And there we go, we are ready to weld. So, it's finally time for my first proper weld with the X1 Pro. And unfortunately, it's all on camera. But hey, you want the full experience, right? I'm working with what I think is a 2 to 3 mm piece of steel, which is right within the recommended range from X Laser Lab. The table isn't in the best condition, so I had to clamp directly to the metal, which is not ideal, but still workable. So it's safe to say that the first weld didn't go so well. So let's try again, however, with a bit more power this time. That looks better, but there's still an issue that I'll show you a bit later in the video. Before that, I went ahead and welded the back side of the plates. Even though the plates were welded together, something just didn't feel like it did on that first weld. And that's when I looked over at the wire feeder and I saw this. So, well, essentially the wire wasn't feeding through. That mistake is entirely on me, but here's the interesting part. Even without the wire, and despite my lack of experience, I decided to test the strength of the weld. It was a bit of a disaster, but it's a nice way to see what a complete beginner can achieve with this machine. Now, if you don't know much about welding, here's a key thing to understand. Welding isn't like soldering or brazing. Unlike those methods, which just melt a filler metal to join two other metal pieces, welding actually melts the base metals themselves, so they fuse together, creating a much stronger bond. So, for a weld to be considered successful, it needs to be just as strong as the two pieces of metal it's joining. And in my case, I threw all of my best bending techniques at it, and yet, the weld didn't fail. I know it doesn't look perfect, but the weak link here was definitely me. Even so, the weld held strong, which really shows you how capable this machine is, because if it can weld successfully even with a complete beginner at the controls, who on top of that makes silly mistakes, well then that's seriously impressive. And now that I've got the wire feeder working properly, let's see if those Instagram shorts are for real. Can this thing actually weld in seconds? And the answer is absolutely yes. Not only it doesn't weld that quickly, but it's also surprisingly easy to do, even for someone with little to no welding experience at all. There are plenty of ways to weld thick pieces of metal together. That's not the hard part. It's the thin material that usually gives people trouble. So far, the X1 Pro has been exceptional within its recommended range. But here's something I haven't seen anyone try. These are two 10mm metal pieces, and let's see if it can do anything with them. I had to make multiple passes because filling the gap between the two plates took some time, but surprisingly, it handled it pretty well actually. Still, I don't recommend it because for something this thick, you can just grab an inverter welder and an electrode, and well, you'll be fine. The real challenge with welding is the thinner materials, but with this machine, that challenge pretty much disappears. Something that takes a lot of skill and experience to do with thin welding, even I can do with the X1 Pro, and that actually says a lot because I could never TIG weld successfully, no matter how many times I tried. Yet, after only about 10 minutes with the X1 Pro, I'm welding plates barely a millimeter thick, and they are holding together nicely. In essence, this thing requires almost no skill and still saves time. 
And honestly, if I had a couple of bottles of shielding gas to practice with for a few hours, I'm sure I could do even better. Meanwhile, after all the TIG practice I've done, you've never seen me TIG world, have you? And that's because, well, anything I've ever tried to TIG world, well, it ends up being a disaster. Now, that doesn't look bad at all, does it? However, after that, I took an hour to myself to focus purely on welding with no filming and no distractions. And this right here is what I managed after about an hour and a half with the machine. Come on, I mean, what other type of welding lets you get results like this with almost no prior skill and under two hours of practice and at this level of speed? I don't know about you, but to me, this is genuinely mind-blowing. I'll still be testing the strength of this weld to the extreme, but let me remind you why laser welding is so exciting in the first place. Instead of relying on a large arc or flame, a focused laser beam delivers heat exactly where it's needed, which means cleaner welds, less distortion, and almost no need for post-processing. It's also incredibly fast. Many joints that take minutes with TIG or MIG can be done in mere seconds with a laser welder. And because the process is so stable and automated, even beginners like me can achieve professional looking results with far less practice. In short, it saves time, produces neater welds, and is far more user friendly, making it a game changer for both hobbyists and professionals. You've seen everything I've done to this weld so far. I've bent it in every direction, clamped it in a vise, and tightened it as much as possible, and the weld is still holding strong. And even after all of that, it's almost impossible to show you just how impressive this really is. I also put another welded piece in the vise and tried to tear the joint apart, but as you can see, the metal gives way before the weld does. But let me say this again. These results are proof that the machine is incredibly easy to use, not that I'm any kind of welding expert. I've never been able to weld metal this thin so cleanly before. With MIG or TIG, I usually just burn straight through the pieces like this. But with the X1 Pro, welding thin material is genuinely a joy. And honestly, the machine is capable of far more than what I've shown here. If you want to see what an actual professional thinks of it, I've linked some expert reviews in this video's description. Now, let's remove the wire feeding setup because it's time to test the cutting and cleaning features as well. This part is really easy. Just undo a couple of nuts and you're almost done. Then swap the nozzle for the one you need, which in this case is the cutting nozzle. And there you go, nearly ready. Apparently, the X1 Pro can even be mounted in a CNC type setup, but for now, we'll select cutting on the menu and hit confirm. You'll get a quick illustration showing the correct way to operate it, and once you acknowledge that, you can adjust the power and other settings. Using it actually feels like handling a scalpel version of a plasma cutter. It's extremely precise, and it doesn't heat up the surrounding metal nearly as much as a traditional plasma cutter. However, the cutting mode on the X1 Pro is very demanding when it comes to shielding gas, because it needs a much higher flow rate, which unfortunately I wasn't able to provide. Because of that, the cuts needed a bit of encouragement from my side, but still, with some patience, it was able to cut through a 3mm steel plate without much trouble, and I suspect it could do far better if you can supply the recommended 15 to 20 litres of gas per minute. I honestly thought the cutting feature was just a gimmick at first, but it definitely isn't, as long as you need this kind of precision and you can give it the gas flow it requires. It looks like it could be used to cut out very detailed, intricate shapes, making it ideal for anyone fabricating complex parts. And just keep in mind that if you don't supply the gas flow it needs, the nozzle overheats quite quickly and you won't get the high-end quality results this machine is actually capable of delivering. Now let's take a look at the final mode, which is cleaning. And again, when I first saw this thing online, I assumed it was just a gimmick or simply impossible. But that couldn't be further from the truth, because when you set it up correctly, this thing can remove a substantial amount of rust or paint in just a single pass. You just need to be careful with the power settings and your travel speed, because it really does have a lot of power. Too much power or moving too slowly, and you can risk damaging the metal underneath. But once you get the hang of it, and it only takes a few minutes to do so, you can get some seriously impressive results. At first I thought this was just a great laser welder with a few extra modes thrown in that wouldn't really be that useful. However, I'm glad to say that I was completely wrong. 
Having a machine with this many capabilities can drastically cut down on production time. And for DIYers, it means you don't have to be an expert to get perfect weld on thin materials, which, as I've said, is usually very difficult. This machine is extremely forgiving, even if you have no idea what you're doing. Give yourself an hour with a manual and another hour with the machine and I'm confident you can get results almost as good as the expert who tested your unit before it was shipped. I don't know about you, but I know that I have next to no welding skills and every time I use this I'm blown away by the quality of the welds that I can produce with this thing. And just for transparency's sake, yes, this machine was provided to me for free by x Lab, but I had no commissions and this isn't a paid review. And everything you've seen today is my honest opinion. I try to test every feature to the best of my ability. However, I also link some additional videos in the description if you want to learn more about this machine. And as always, let me know what you think in the comments below. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video and maybe even consider subscribing to the channel.